Hi there, my name is Stuart McKenzie. I'm from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. My work has sponsored an effort to develop a ventilator system based on commonly found hardware components. Let's go have a look. So the way this design essentially works is it's a U-tube partially filled with water, a check valve on one side of the U-tube, with a push rod and a short length of chain attached to a float. So when air comes into the U-tube, it pushes the water level down, the float moves down with the water level until the chain is pulled tight, which then opens the check valve, relieving the pressure and causing the levels to return to normal, uh, which pushes the push rod, closes the check valve, and starts the cycle all over again. A slightly more complicated version of the system has two lines on the bottom of the U-tube, each one with a check valve and a manual valve so you can adjust the rate of in-breathing versus out-breathing by changing how easily liquid can flow in one direction or the other between the sides of the U-tube. Also we added a manometer to confirm that the pressure at the mask corresponds well to the height difference of these water columns, and the height difference of these water columns can be adjusted simply by adjusting the length of the chain on the float. Also added an air bleed, as we're using a shop vac for the pressure source. Uh, this allows us to adjust the inlet pressure to the tubes. Now I will take apart the machine and show you a little bit more about how it works. So here's the source of air to the system back here. It's a shop vac. Air comes in here. Uh, this is a manometer tied into the same line and we can read the pressure in the line just based on the water level in the manometer in that tube. This is the vent which uh, allows us to bleed off enough air that the shop vac can be a suitable source of pressure for this system. This line here would be the one that potentially goes to a mask or intubation tube. This is a check valve which has a chain and a push rod going down into this side of the U-tube and inside this side of the U-tube is a float made out of two inch ABS plastic fittings. On the other side of the U-tube, this is just a float to show how high the water level is on that side of the tube. And then down here we have the two lines with check valves running in opposite directions. Now I'll open up this side of the U-tube and show you what's inside. Here's the float. You can see I have the chain set to be a very short length right now. The height difference is the travel of the valve plus the length of that chain. So if you want to have more pressure uh, coming out to the mask, you can increase the length of the chain. Inside this float, I have about a pound of washers to ensure that it pulls the valve open on every stroke. On this side of the U-tube is just a piece of foam to demonstrate where the water level is in the system. So at rest, the water level is right about there on both sides of the U-tube. Down here you can see the check valves and ball valves which allow you to control the flow in either direction.